everybody, it's Jenny from Norman S. Wright. So last week we talked about the different types of lay-in ceiling borders for diffusers. So this week I wanna talk about surface mount ceilings and how you install diffusers in them. So let's get started. If you looked up last week and didn't see a lay-in ceiling, you probably have a solid sheetrock ceiling, assuming you have a ceiling and are in an office. So that leaves us with the question, how do you install a surface mount diffuser in a sheetrock ceiling? Surface mount diffusers are not as common as lay-in ceiling, so many contractors have never had to install a surface mount diffuser into a hard ceiling. Ceiling diffusers aren't usually available with screw holes in the face, like so many grills are. So how do you install it? Let's move this out of the way and look at it. So the most important thing to know about installing surface mount diffusers is that they require additional framing. It's good to know this beforehand so you can put the framing in before it's too late and you have to tear out the ceiling. So let's start with the sheetrock ceiling. All sheetrock is mounted to ceiling joists. The joists are usually parallel to each other and two to three feet apart. You will want to mount the diffuser framing on top of and perpendicular to the joist. Center the framing over where the diffuser will go and make sure there's enough room for the inlet and back pan to fit. Remember that you want the diffuser to sit flush against the sheetrock after it's installed. So let's slide this out of the way and look at what you need to do to install the diffuser. So let's draw a diffuser first. This is the back pan of the diffuser and this is the face. First of all, you want to take the face off the diffuser, and then you'll want to connect the ductwork. Then you'll want to put the diffuser up in the ceiling so that the edge of the diffuser back pan is flush with the sheetrock. And from here, you'll shoot screws through the back pan into the framing that you've installed to hold the diffuser in place. And then you can put the diffuser face back on. You should also try to put the screws in so that they're not visible from the ground when the diffuser face is put back on. Another note on the ductwork you need to think about is that you want the best possible inlet conditions when you install your diffuser to make sure you have good airflow and performance. You'll need some extra length in the flex duct to mount it on the diffuser before you put it in the ceiling because unlike a lay-in diffuser, you're going to put the ductwork on first and then put it up in the ceiling, but you wanna make sure you don't have too much that it'll cause bad inlet conditions. So in case my drawing skills aren't enough, this picture shows you what everything would look like installed from the backside of the diffuser. So what do you do if the sheetrock ceiling has already been installed and you don't wanna to have to rip out the ceiling to put in the framing? Well, this is where rapid mount frames come in. These are super handy devices. They are square frames that connect to the sheetrock ceiling on one side and give you a lip to lay in the diffuser on the other. These are really nice because it allows you to use lay-in diffusers in sheetrock ceilings, but it also gives you a little access panel into your sheetrock ceiling. In fact, this method is often preferred to using surface mount diffusers and we see it used quite often. So let's bring everything back on screen. So that's how you install a surface mount diffuser. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and thanks for watching.